I'm Craig and Andrew's here as well from Ocean Reef UK Malta and we've come down to Dive Rutland to talk about all things Ocean Reef. So first of all I'm going to start talking about the ARIA full face snorkeling mask system. Now uh, these got a lot of bad press in the, in the early days and it wasn't the Ocean Reef mask that created that bad press. Now, with anything, if you buy the right piece of equipment, then you're going to get uh, the right results. If you buy cheap Chinese copies, you're going to get something different. Now, Ocean Reef's full face snorkeling mask is designed a little bit different to everybody else's um, in that it works. So, we have the snorkel tube at the top with a dry top snorkel and it's an elliptical ball on the top so it's not a spherical one and the point of being elliptical is that the, the sonic weld can't twist and if it can't twist we can guarantee where it's going to be so it's not going to stick okay so your float isn't going to stick as it's going up and down the second difference is at the top we have three valves now when you breathe in you can see that the snorkel tube has three tubes in it the middle valve will open and air will go in and it comes in all the way down the tube to this little diffuser. I don't know if that will pick up on the camera. Um, but there's a, a little bar that comes across here. And that makes the air swirl on the inside of the lens. And it's just like your air conditioning on your car. So each time you breathe, fresh air comes in and it's going to defog the mask. So you never have to spit in it. Okay, and with COVID and things, that's quite important. So... <coughs> Once the air is in the top part of the mask, you're then going to breathe it through the two one-way oronasal valves, just like on your snorkel. So it's only going to let air go in, not back out again. So once you've used it, you've breathed it, when you breathe out, the air is going to come on the outside of the frame. There's a solid tube all the way around. Okay, so you can't squash that. Can you see that? That then comes up and it goes to the two outer tubes on the snorkel. When it comes up, the top valve, the middle section is now closed and the outer two valves open. And that way you do your gas exchange. So there's no dead air in there. Like a conventional snorkel, you would have to clear from the top of the snorkel back to your mouth. On here, we only have to clear what's in the oronasal compartment. So it's going to breathe more efficiently than a traditional mask and snorkel. Boy, it's hard work talking through one of these. Okay, so the, the ARIA is also one of the widest fields of vision as well. And it's designed for snorkeling. Now this is the other big mistake that people use, or get, when they use a full face snorkeling mask. As divers we all think, oh we can duck dive down, go and look at some nice funny stuff, and then come back up. Okay, with this there's no way to equalise. So they're not designed for us to go down to five or six metres, have a look at something and come back up. And also that's a large area that's going to squash against your face. So they're designed for on the surface or just below a little bit. Okay, so we go diving with a full face mask, you go snorkeling with an aria and then there's a gap in between, which we use for skin diving. Okay? But for snorkeling, there's no better vision. 180 degrees. We also do something called a snorky talky. So you can talk to each other as you're snorkeling. Or back to the shore or the boat using a normal walkie talky. And we just press here and talk. And this transmits a signal out up to about a thousand yards. Any questions? None come up. Are there any viewers? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they come in a number of colours and they also come in a number of sizes as well. Um, when you're trying one of these on, once the pandemic's completely finished, you'll be able to try them on. Otherwise, there is a size chart online. But when you put it on, you shouldn't be able to get your finger in under the chin. There shouldn't be a gap there. That's the easiest way to tell whether you've got the right size. Medium large fits most adults, okay, but do the finger check um, before you purchase. 
Okay, so Ocean Reef are really known for their integrated diving masks. And if you've never tried one of these before, come and have a go. Um, once you've tried it, though, you'll have to check your bank balance because you will buy one. Um, they do a number in their range, and the first one we're going to talk about is this one. And this one's called the G Diver. All right, and it's 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 not an entry level because there's nothing cheap in the ocean reef range. It's the sport range, so we have a mask that you can just start off with and go diving. And it's completely different to what you might use with a bank regulator um, because there's nothing in your nose or in your mouth. And the idea is that you can breathe a little bit better than I'm managing here. Um, <laughs> uh, but your, your nose and your mouth are in an oronasal compartment. So as you breathe, you can breathe in through your nose or your mouth. Now, you're my dummy for today, um, and if you just try this, the biggest question or the biggest statement that we get from everybody is, you're bound to use a lot more air whilst using an IDM, a full face mask, than you do with a traditional bite regulator. And that's just simply not true. Okay, and we're going to demonstrate here. We're not going to be able to see because you've got your mask on. <laughs> but if you just sit comfortably, sit upright, don't slouch. <laughs> okay, and right, so keep your nose closed <laughs> and just breathe through your open mouth. Okay, just a few breaths. Okay, and that's as you would be through scuba diving, you've got, got to breathe in and out through your mouth. Okay, now close your mouth and just breathe gently through your nose. Just for a couple of breaths. Okay, I'm back to normal again. It's like Paul McKenna, isn't it? <laughs> So, which one do you think you use more air on? Breathing through the mouth. Breathing through the mouth, yeah. And it's true, you do. You're going to relax. So, not only is it better for you to metabolise uh, air that you've breathed in through your nose, because it moistens it more, but um, you're not holding as much in your chest at the time. And you're, you're still alive, so you didn't need all that extra that you used when you were breathing just through your mouth. And therefore, with a little bit of practice, you can use less air with an IDM than you would do with a conventional bite mouthpiece. Okay. So, the next big question that we get asked all the time is how do you equalise? Because you can't grab your nose anymore. Well, there's two ways. Now that you can move your mouth freely, you can more than often or not use the Valsalva technique, is that what it's called? Yeah. So you're just wiggling your jaw and swallowing. You'll find that you don't notice that you're doing it. So you'll, you'll actually equalise slightly less. Now, on the inside of here, where the screw is, we would normally have some nose bungs like this. Okay. And the idea is that you would block your nose when you push the mask up and in slightly and that would allow you to equalise your ears when you blow against it. Now these things are stamped not in the middle. Can you see that? Okay, so when they rotate on the pegs, they can widen or narrow. It also means that if you've got a deviated septum, broken nose to you, okay, it can cope with that as well. Now where it sits in the mask depends on your face shape, so we need to be able to lengthen or shorten the length of the pegs as well. And we have different length pegs that would go in there in order to adjust for it. So they take a little bit of setting up initially, but once you've done it, it's very, very simple. Okay, what on earth happens though if this fills with water? Okay, because that's a big space. Who struggles with a clearing your mask? Okay, now these things they use a little bit of ocean reef magic, and what that is is um, because of the way that it works. Every time you breathe in, the air comes in through this tube here, and there's a little hole. Probably doesn't come up, but comes in here. The air comes over the visor on the inside of the top part, and that's going to defog your mask every time you breathe, just like the aria did. So it never fogs up. When you breathe in, the air comes in through the oronasal compartments, through those two one-way valves, 
you then breathe it. When you breathe out, it's going to come out of the exhaust port at the bottom. Okay, so the air is coming in just one way. You never rebreathe the same air twice, so there's very, very little dead air space. Okay, then we can equalize it. But the point is, every time you breathe, your regulator is giving you air at the depth that you're at, the second stage. Okay, and that's how they work, because they're balanced. So, each time you breathe, the pressure inside is the same as the water outside. So if you put your finger in the skirt, water isn't bothered about trying to get in, because it's the same pressure. The air wants to get out, because it's lighter, and wants to get up to the surface. And then there'd be a little void, so you're going to get some bubbles, because the regulator wants to sort it out for you, to try and equalise the pressure again. So, trying to get water inside one of these is actually very difficult. You're going to have to try and take the whole thing off in order to get water in there. All right, sounds a little bit mystical, um, but you've got to come and try it and find out. Does it work with beards? It does indeed. So this one is the, sport, uh, the space extender, and this comes with a, a, a nice accessory frame across the top that you can put GoPros on, you can put lights, and we've got com uh, communications mount as well. Um, and we have a built-in surface air valve. So when you're on the surface, you can open this up and you breathe air from the outside rather than the air on your cylinder. Okay, and then you just shut it up just before you go diving and then off you go. Easy. So these come in a, a variety of colours and sizes as well. And then Ocean Reef this year on the 1st of April was it? No, May the 4th, uh, they brought out the new Neptune 3. And the Neptune 3 is the next generation of the integrated diving mask. Um, you can see the screen is slightly wider. In fact, it's 20%, 20%, 20% better vision than one of these. And these give you the widest field of view on the market. So this one now it's, it's as if you're not wearing a mask, it's incredible. You've got 180 degree vision. Now the internal vol volume has been reduced, so these are not very floaty at all in the water. It doesn't pull your neck at all. Um, and it doesn't try and ride off your face as you're, as you're coming up. It sounds awful, but it, you do notice it a little bit. Okay, So with this one, it doesn't happen now. And also, they've sculpted it so it's curved like the bonnet of the modern cars, so you don't see the end. So you don't get to see the regulator at all. Now, another change is, this is like driving an automatic car as opposed to driving a manual car. So it doesn't matter what you do with this one, the regulator is gonna sort it out for you. You can go upside down, left, right, it doesn't care. It's gonna give you the air and not free flow or not become light on the breathe. All of the IDMs have got a communications port on the left hand side, which is a standard NATO 40 thread, and we can just screw a communications unit in there. Uh, bam, bam, bam. So this is an example of the analog version, and that would just screw in here and then mount on the side and then you're off and ready to go with communications. So with your traditional bite regulator, obviously you can't talk to each other. With an IDM, because your mouth is free, we can actually communicate using speech. Now if you think a three-year-old knows the difference between 5,000 different words, and yet we go diving for the peace and quiet, and we can use up to 20 hand signals, we do limit ourselves a little bit. So people saying we only go diving for the peace and quiet, that's not true. What other sport do you do with somebody else where you can't talk to them? Sidecar motorcycle riding, I suppose. Um, but there aren't, I can't think of any. Even parachuting, they talk to each other on the way down. Um, so scuba diving is a lot more fun and it's a lot safer if you can physically talk to each other. And it's not conversation, it's communication.
because you will go through your air a little bit quicker when you're using underwater communications. Now, as the, the, the masks have, have progressed, the communications have as well. And we have the new Mercury GSM unit, which is digital. It's a USB charge on a lithium battery. Um, so you get a very long extended usage um, on one charge. And it's stereo because you've got two ear pieces now as opposed to the single one. Um, so the quality is incredible and the power is phenomenal. It'll transmit up to 500 meters with the right, right uh, environmental conditions. Okay, I expect 200. But if you're more than 200 meters away from your buddy, you're probably parachuting, not diving. Okay. So what about people with visual impairments? Well, we can cater for that as well. Um, these screens are very, very tough. They actually pass the ballistics test uh, for riot shields. So you can fire a ball bearing at them um, at 560 Meters per, meters per second and they'll be fine. You can still scratch them but you're not likely to break them in a, a, a proper usage. Now they're also coated in two layers of siloxin uh, which is the stuff they coat safety glasses with uh, and that also makes them quite difficult to stick things to them like those stick on little lenses that you get in in some masks. So Ocean Reef have brought out these which are their optical lens holders and we even have little arms that you can clip on. There we go. Obviously there's one for the other side as well, otherwise it'll fall off your ear. Um, but you can wear those on the boat, and then when you're going to go for a dive or a snorkel, you just take the arms off, and then they just clip in inside the mask. And because they're inside the airflow, when you're using them, guess what? They don't fog up and you don't have to spit or apply chemicals near your eyes. So really good. You can take these to your opticians and they'll laugh at you because you look like Joe 90, um, but they'll put lenses in. Ocean Reef also do sets of lenses, um, but if you want a more complex prescription then you can put your real prescription in. Okay, for the more technical guys, um, what on earth do you do for switching gases, okay? Well, we have a dual tank valve. Now, this allows you to put two gas inputs, so one from your back, one from your pony or your stage on the bottom, and then, and then it just slides, slides to tell you which one you've selected to, and you can put the clip back on so you can't accidentally knock it. And then if you've got the quick disconnect clips on, you could then disconnect one and put another one on so you can daisy chain if you're doing more advanced diving. Pretty cool. Okay. Right, so tonight in the pool, you're going to have a go at taking one off and putting it back on, so clearing it fully. Uh, fantastic. And you'll see it's probably easier than doing conventional mask. Because as soon as you get a seal, so you hold it against your face, it wants to get rid of the water for you. So it's very, very simple and very quick. Okay, and then we can adjust the straps. The big thing that we see on the media a lot is people have pictures and they have incredibly long top straps. Because if you haven't done any training, you put it on in the wrong order. And the straps should be tightened up, the middle straps first, and look up and do the bottom straps, and that pulls the mask under the chin, so it stops it from being able to ride up. And then just tighten it gently with the top straps. So they shouldn't be any longer than a couple of, a couple of clicks. Okay, and that's gonna make sure that it's sat far enough down for the oronasal compartment to, to form a snug fit over the bridge of your nose. Okay, if it's too high, there'll be a gap, and then the air isn't going to seal properly. Okay, have I covered everything? Yep, just um, training. <laughs> the instructors here have done their, their uh, accredited instructor course with Ocean Reef, 
so you can come and have a word with them. Um, but they, they are incredibly intuitive, but like anything, you will learn so much from a professional course um, and then enjoy your investment a lot more. The, the new Neptune 3 has attached itself to the desk. There we go. Has a brand new surface air valve as well. If you, if you remember, we mentioned on this one, uh, if we open it up, it allows you to breathe from the outside uh, the, the air here. Um, but if you went underwater, when you breathe, it's going to suck the water in and therefore it'll start to fill up. Okay, as soon as you shut it and you start breathing again, it'll clear it by itself. But with this one, they've redesigned the surface air valve and you can even open it underwater. And if you breathe gently, you will not get any water in. It's, it's another ocean reef magic fit, as you'll find out tonight. So if he's not on the screen tomorrow, then it didn't go well. <laughs> if he is, we're all right. <laughs> Oh, last thing is with the new mask, you you don't just get a bag, you get a rucksack, which is your day diving bag. So we have a compartment at the bottom which unzips so you can slide your, your regulator set in. You get a compartment at the top to put the IDM in uh, with an elasticator thing. And you also get a changing mat and enough straps and buckles and pockets for you to attach your wetsuit and your fins, etc. So it's perfect as a day dive boat bag. Um, and an excellent present for Father's Day. Oh, I know, one more thing. Are we still live? Okay, the next question that we get asked is does it work with a rebreather? Okay, so during lockdown, we've developed this, which will be coming out shortly. Um, so the answer is yes, it does. And the benefits of it are phenomenal. So we have no fogging, we have almost zero worker breathing, and you also have access to communications in a meaningful way because there's nothing in your nose or your mouth. It also has built in bailout, so you can come off the loop back onto uh, uh, open circuit and then switch backwards again and it's just one movement. But be more of this in the next episode. Is the bag available separately? It is indeed, yes. Just have a word with Dive Rutland and you can order that. And they are available now. <laughs>